So um, thank you very much, all of you uh, joining us today in the live learning experience beyond the immediate response to the outbreak. My name is Sarah Höflich. I'm the director of the UCLG learning team. And uh, I'm very happy to announce the third thematic session, learning with local government association, multiplying and upscaling of measures. This session has been prepared in uh, coordination with the uh, CIB, which is our capacity and institution building group. And particular thanks goes to the coordinators, Jesse Post and Elena Pierce, who are with us today. Thank you very much for that. So uh, the session, first, I would like to do some housekeeping points. You see here in these slides, the way how to access the interpretation. This is very important for we have many Spanish, Spanish speaking speakers. So please look in the in bottom of your, of your screen. You can find the channels of interpretation. Original means no interpretation, English, Spanish and French. Please for everybody, who is not speaking, um, to, to, uh, mute and turn off the video. And when you are speaking, or for those who are speakers, turn on your video, and then we will uh, be able to identify you. And when, when we ask you to speak, speak clearly and towards the microphone. So mute any notification sounds in your phone. You can uh, select only active speakers to be able to see the slides. This you can also do in the dots uh, in the, you find in the screen below. We will have um, a consultation with all of you with the Mentimeter methodology. So if you see here www.menti.com, this is a web page where you can access with your cell phone. Maybe you can do this right now. And the code 200612 is the code for the, our consultation exercise of these sessions that we will do later on. Okay, now I will uh, shortly show what we will do today. So we will first have an opening remarks uh, of the session. And then we have a round table of challenges and actions of association. We have the consultation, and after this consultation, we have a second round table on priority actions. And finally, we will have a wrap up. So if we continue. Fernando, ah oh, yeah. The first uh, round table uh, will count on the, our co-president, the mayor of Utrecht, Jan van Sanen and on our Secretary General, Emilia Sainz. Also, we have with us, I hope, Raf Tutz, the Director for Global Solutions, UN Habitat, and Brock Carlton, who is the CEO of the Canadian Federation of Municipalities. After this, we have our first round table, which will be facilitated by our Secretary, uh, by, by Sebastian Hamel, who is the co-chair of our CIB group and also the executive director of the FCM. He will uh, give the floor and presentations to Paulo Oliveira from the national, um, the front of mayors of Brazil, to Mrs. Juana Lopez Pagan from the Federation of Municipalities Spain, to Lance Joel of the South African Association and to Veronica Hitchesis of the League of City Philippines. After this, we will have a consultation exercise, the Mentimeter. This will be uh, my colleague, Fernando Santomauro, who will lead you through this exercise. Then we go to the second round table. This will be facilitated, facilitated by our Secretary General, Emilia Sainz, and will count on inputs of Mr. Edwin Minu from uh, Kongope, he's this, all this uh, will be secretaries general speaking. So we have the provincial government, um, uh, association of provincial governments of Ecuador. We will have Mrs. Sri Inda Vibi Nastiti of Apexi, the city's um, association of Indonesia. Mrs. Genevieve Severin, 
uh, of Cities Une France Que, and Mrs. Carla Rey of the Association of Cities and Regions in Italy. After this, we have um, our wrap up thinking of the aftermath and we count on Mr. Elkim Velasquez, who is a, a representative for Latin America and the Caribbean of UN Habitat. And of course, we will have also in the wrap up, uh, we count on Emilia, uh, who has also done uh, lead us through the sessions of live learning we had up to now. And I now give the floor to Emilia to start officially. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah, and greetings to all the colleagues. It's, uh, it's special eh, to see each other in this situation. It's always like that. Look, we do two of these a week now, and, uh, and every day we get a kick out of it. And, and, and it has something special to see each other in this situation. So I hope you are all uh, keeping healthy. You certainly look good. Thank you for joining us. Um, local governments associations and their role, um, I always talk about our movement like um, like like a, a complex train system eh? uh, that keeps going. And if you think of our membership, the locomotives of, of, of the movement um, are probably the most visible ones are, are the cities of all sizes and, and the regional governments and the towns, the villages local governments in general, but the infrastructure of the movement is actually uh, the local government associations. And this is why we have decided to dedicate a, a specific uh, a session to uh, not a theme, but to a type of member and the role that this, uh, that, that local government associations, that this type of members uh, will need to play. Uh, during this crisis and also in the aftermath. Um, when we think about local government associations, we really uh, always think about uh, scaling up, uh, a structural dialogue, um, but the reality is that local government associations around the world are also uh, being um, first respondents for many of those uh, local governments that do not have the capacity themselves to, uh, to, to face the crisis. And they have been putting in motion many initiatives to, uh, to help our, our membership um, cities and, and local and regional governments uh, react. It is true, however, that uh, it will be around local government associations that the aftermath would need to be structured. And I think also sooner than later, uh, local government associations will need to play an important role in the dialogue uh, with, uh, with national uh, governments, but also with regional and, and, and the global community, the international community. So that's what's bringing us together today to um, actually uh, exchange experiences, share with you the many things that are being done. Some of them are really very impressive to also share some challenges, uh, uh, what, what is keeping us from, from doing what we would like uh, uh, to do, uh, how does our membership uh, look at this, what are the perspectives of those smaller cities that might not be that visible, but that, that are the majority of our urban reality in the urban area. So I'm very pleased uh, to, to have this session. I'm very grateful to the CIB working group um, for their leadership and guidance uh, in this. I, I very much look forward to these exchanges. And without further ado, I, I, I would give the floor to our co-president, to uh, the mayor of Utrecht and the president of, uh, of VNG, the Dutch uh, Association of Municipalities. Uh, co-president, the, the floor is yours. <laughs> 